Hi guys, if you're looking for high quality video editing software to create videos for YouTube, for your business or some other purpose, you may have many choices. And in today's video, we will show you top five video editors we recommend to help you create high quality videos. And I will let you know the features, cost, going over pros and cons and each and everything. Uh, before we get started, please subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification to stay aware of our latest videos uploaded on this channel. So let's get started. Starting off our countdown at number five is Coral Video Studio Ultimate. Of those in our top five, this is most user-friendly with a well-designed layout making it a great choice for beginners looking to create professional quality project. It includes a tons of useful features and allows you to edit your videos up to 4K with support for 360 content. Unlike most video editors, it even includes a built-in screen recorder to capture your screen. There are more than 2000 filters and effects for you to play around with and you can easily apply pan and zoom effects to your video and quickly complete the project saving uh, you time. They, you know, do have a Good variety of templates for you to choose from. If you plan to create virtual reality content, uh, their 360 editor makes it easy to resize, trim, and add other enhancements to your video. It even includes the ability to upload your content directly to YouTube. And if all that wasn't enough, their audio tools are quite handy and you get access to a library of royalty-free music to add to your projects. Now for the cons, there's a limit of up to 20 video tracks and the speed to render your project is not the quickest. Other than that, if you are not a fan of subscription services, it's a great value with one-time cost of around $100. Video Studio Ultimate is, you know, only available for Windows. Our number four, uh, you know, pick is Final Cut Pro. Just might be best choice for you if it's, op for it's you know, it's optimized for the newer M1 silicon based MX, giving you improved frame rates and faster render speeds. With the ability to edit your videos up to 8K, with no issues, it's uh, features packed. It includes like multi-cam editing, no video noise reduction, HDR with advanced color grading, a library of visual effects, customizable templates, and third-party apps are easy. Uh, into easily integrated to enhance the, the functionality. Just be aware if you work with the 360 videos, uh, there's no motion tracking or stabilization. Final Cut Pro is available only for Mac OS only. And you can get it from the Mac App Store. It's not cheap, around 300, but at least it's only one time fee. If you want to try it out before buying, they do offer a 90 days free trial, which is, you know, more generous. And the trials offered by its competitor, if you find the Final Cut Pro, does not mean you need. I'll be showing you additional as well. Okay. Coming in uh, at number three is the Devancy Resolve. They offer both a free and paid version for most people. The free version will be all that they need, but compared to the most paid editors, it's more features packed. Uh, but on the downside, there's a steep learning curve and does not use a lot of system resources. So it doesn't work well on low specs computer. If your computer can handle it, in addition to the standard tools to edit your projects, there are advanced tools for color correction, motion graphics, and audio editing, but built in and and including is their Fusion software to create your very own motion graphics and cinematic visual effect. DaVinci Resolve uh, has been, you know, used for the post-production and many films and TV projects. You might be familiar with, you know, uh, including Deadpool, Star Wars, The Last Jedi, Pirates of the Caribbean, Game of Thrones, American Horror Story, Westville, and many others. As I mentioned earlier, Division Resolve is free. They do offer a paid version called DaVinci Resolve Studio for one-time cost of $2.95. It includes additional tools for 3D extra plugins and allows for multi-users uh, collaboration for both versions and both versions are available for Windows and Linux. Okay. Before we get to top of, you know, two here, uh, there's bonus picks for beginners looking for easier to use software that are already mentioned. Adobe Premiere Elements uh, is a stripped down version for Premiere Pro that's a lot easier to use. Features include transition phase detection video, audio music effects included that can be added to your projects and now offers additional support of 4K unlike most of the software sold by Adobe. There are no recurring costs to use Premiere Elements. It's available for a one-time fee. 
try you know try before to buy an offer of 30 days trial and it's available for windows and mac os another easy to use video editor for business is mm -hmm. filmora by wondershare it includes a good variety of filters and effects plugin support are all to free sound library and support for videos up to 4k they do offer a free plan but all your videos will be slapped with their branded watermark their paid annual plan starts around 50 and if you prefer a lifetime license for the current version of filmora the one-time fee is about 117 dollars it's available for windows and mac os another great choice uh, for mac users os 13 is imovie while not as a feature packed as final cut pro is entirely you know it's it's an entry level editor pre-installed on mac mac uh, computers includes templates cool special effects and filters with support up to 4k that limited to only two videos tracks okay let's move to our uh, number two which is the runner sport coming at number two cyberlink power director 365 testing this out for the first time in a few years it has improved quite a bit uh, the ease of use fast rendering and the sheet number for features is amazing for its price point it includes over 3000 effects and templates multi-cam motion tracking and you know built-in screen recorder with support up to 8k what makes this an incredible value you can now get access to more than 6 million photos videos and music from shutterstock along with access to more than 2 million stock photos and videos from stocks with all the features included in it can be overwhelming for beginners thankfully they do have a uh, useful how to guys and tutorials um, on their site and that will help you out when you get started its cost is normally around 70 dollars per year and you can often find it for less when they run special usually you know i recommend going with a lifetime license with more software but in this case you end up losing out tons of benefits features uh, in addition to windows cyber uh, power director is now available for mac os there's no free trial but they do offer a 30-day money-back guarantee uh, then we move to number one in the top spot coming is Adobe Premiere Pro for decades it's been the industry standard for filmmakers, TV editor, videographers and a popular choice for YouTubers. You get an unlimited number of video tracks, a good amount of transition effect and it plays nicely with other Adobe products including After Effects, Illustrator, plugin for various sources can also be added to enhance its functionality. Some will hate the reoccurring cost each month and it's, it's you know, it monthly cost is high but if you're using it for a business for producing content that earns you a revenue, the pricing can be justified. Uh, Premiere Pro starts at at around $21 per month or about $50 as part of the Creative Cloud suit of apps. But if you'd like to take it for a test drive before paying for it, Premiere Pro does offer a seven day free trial. It's available for both Windows and Mac OS. Thanks for watching. Links are in the description in this video. If, you, if this video helped you out, please give it a thumbs up and share it with others. Uh, others can also learn about the best video editors so let me know which is your favorite one and yeah just let us know and we'll be speaking again